Software development is a high-paying and challenging job. Think you have what it takes to work in this industry? We spoke to an expert and he told us what it was all about. Have you ever wondered what makes a computer function or where the brains of the computer are? It is software developers who create code that enables the computer to perform tasks. Software development is a lucrative and highly competitive field. According to the Bureau of Labor Statistics, around 540,000 people work in the field of software development, making an average yearly salary of $92,000 or an hourly wage of $42. Not anybody could do this job. This profession requires a specific education. Danny Brando is the Vice President of Technology Engineering for the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. He visited us here at Washington Park School to talk about his job and to explain what is needed to become a software developer. A quality education is a prerequisite for this job. So I have a uh, master's in technology management as well as a, a bachelor's degree in computer science. And I would say both are pretty important um, in, in helping you think of the ideas and then actually execute on them. So I, I would say the more education you have, the better off you are because it broadens your perspective and you can get to see problems from different angles. And so from the computer science side, I have a good basis of how to actually be able to create these, these, this new software or new technology uh, offerings. But from the technology management side, I have more of a business perspective on how, what kind of value that would create. Even though software development has a general description, there is a wide variety of software development jobs. Danny explains about his position. Right now, I'm the Assistant Vice President of Technology Engineering for the Federal Reserve Bank of New York. Um, what that means is, in our technology engineering, we do a number of things like emerging technologies. So I have a group that's responsible for looking out in the industry of anything new that's coming out in technology and how we can apply that to the problems that we're having. Um, I'm also responsible for our mobile applications group, so we provide advice and consultancy to our business areas on how they can start applying and creating new applications for devices like iPhones and iPads and Androids and things of that nature. And lastly, we do um, all of our endpoint security, remote access, so people working from home and working from different locations. We provide them access to their uh, computers and data in the Federal Reserve System. In Danny's previous job, he developed an application to improve the safety features of mobile devices. One uh, particular that I'll talk about is in my prior job when I worked in information security, uh, we created, and it's actually patent pending, myself and, and two other staff created an application that does security for devices like the BlackBerry. So even up and up over the regular security that's on those devices, we need additional things because we can't risk uh, hackers getting in and, and uh, breaking into our devices. The time put into making an application varies on what the app does. Some apps, in Danny's case, take a few months to make. Even though it is a couple months, they must keep adjusting it as devices update. So for that uh, piece of software, it probably takes a couple of months, but um, most importantly, beyond just the initial create, is you have to factor in that it takes a lot to continually maintain these. So it, 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 if you just factor in how long it takes to create an application, uh, you're missing a big picture because it takes a whole lot more to con continually keep that application up to date with um, as devices evolve, um, patches to it for bugs or patches to it for security issues. This job requires a substantial amount of mathematic knowledge. One thing that's, that's obviously important, as I mentioned, was computer science, but uh, another thing is uh, is having a good understanding of math. Um, you know, I have a math minor as well that I didn't mention, but um, to understand, so, you know, to create software, it's not just about the abstraction layer of just, you know, writing the logic of an application, but you also have to understand how a computer system works in the background, and uh, math applies to its memory allocation, uh, the buffer sizes, so you really have to understand the the technical insides of a, of a computer to create a really well-performing um, application and, and math plays a huge role in that. As you can see, it isn't easy to become a software developer. According to an annual survey released last month, computer-related jobs accounted for three out of the top ten professions with the highest paying salary for this year's college graduates. So if you want to become a software developer, work hard, study math, earn your college degree, and you'll make a lot of money. Bobby Rueda, TBN.